have released the dog. I blow a Rick the camera, do a 100% camera, bro. Yo. No one else will go hard, I will do a fucking damage. Yo. Can't maintain, contain my flow. I need to play a game for sure. Maybe RTS or RPG or maybe even MMM. Howdy, howdy everybody and welcome back for another video of Lucid Adventure Idol RPG. Make sure you guys check out the Discord where we do a lot of good stuff. Link to that be in the description box below as well as in the pinned comment down below. Oh, look at that. PvP match right before we uh, really get into the video. Gotta love it. Don't always get into these. Same like I do. I always get wrecked too. Look at that, look at that. Don't get to plat. Don't get to plat. This is what matches look like up in plat. Hey, look at that, I gain ranked. <laughs> I got bodied and I gain ranked. We're gonna start keeping, I usually edit those out of the video, but we're gonna start keeping those in. <laughs> At least if I talk about it. <laughs> Gamer, what's wrong with you? I don't know, I don't know. But, today, gonna talk about who to level to 31st level 30 is a big benchmark because you get a skill for each character on level 30 now if you like pay attention to what's going on in the background on my screen like you see Oz jump in Lubu you can see Choco come in when we glow purple you can see constant like right now this jump in but wait a sec none of these characters are in my party all of those characters are level 30 so with your level 30 skill it gives everybody one of their abilities that they use normally to be able to come in at a fixed chance to be able to utilize those skills now you can see it slow down more since we're at one time speed and see see lubu comes in does an attack and gets out so this happens this this happens with your characters at level 30 once you get the level 30 skill so we're gonna go to one right now we'll just take a look at lubos at his skill at level 30 scroll down scroll keep scrolling 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 keep scrolling drop that beat keep scrolling, scrolling oh. all right here so his support skill emit strong energy so pretty much he's going to use whatever this skill is, which is an attack skill, and it, and I leveled uh, I leveled it up. It's really expensive. I mastered it, but it gets really expensive. But you see, it's at 80, 68 percent master. So sixty eight percent of the time he's going to come into the battle and do an attack. Uh, not everybody has a skill like that. Some people's skill are slightly different. We we'll take a look at one of the best ones that I believe. And that's uh, Choco BBs, which is middle space movement. Now, pretty much with this dude, and it says right here at the bottom, use warp at the start of battle. So, he's going to come in to the battles. Can we finish these guys? All right. He's going to come into the battles at a fixed rate. See, he's there now. He glows. And he's charging up like how you would normally charge up. And then he eventually warped the team without him being in the battle. Now that's really good. Now that was constant that time that came in when he glowed purple. Now that's really good. Now it gets a little bit controversial and my thoughts on this may change. So I'm just going to give you the best judgment that I've been doing. That I've been doing since I've started making content for this game. On what I think you should do best. Now. We stop here at Choco BB because I believe he's absolutely number one. If you don't plan on using him for your team moving forward, I believe you should get him to 31st and foremost so you can have him warp your team without him being there. You can focus on who you really want to use, who you really want to play with. Because believe me, not everybody want to play with the meta characters. Not everybody want to do that meta stuff. But it's like you got to have him so you can get him in and out your team quick. A lot of people been going for Oz just because Oz is your number one carry. But all she's going to do is her movement speed skill, which is good. It helps. It makes everybody uh, move faster. But that's the only thing that she's going to provide, going to provide, which is not, I would say, 
the most important thing for you. You can literally just take her to level 29 and leave her there while you level while you level up something else to 30. Or whatever level you had her at prior to because she's already doing really good for you anyway. Something above uh, 25. Something above 25 before you take her to 30. I don't think I think I took her to 30 like my third character because I think I did constant before her. But um even then one of the other characters i think and i was just looking at because of what what everything they do who could be possibly a really good candidate to go to 30 before anyone else sora sora seems like she would be a really good character to take to 30 and let's go to her level 30 skill now here at her level 30 skill it say eat, support eat meal now if you're familiar with the eat meal skill and it says, focuses the team members to eat meal 3%. So, this is going to be a skill you're going to have to level up. It's going to be probably pretty expensive. But once you level it up and get it mastered, she's going to come in and use her eat meal skill. And like I said, if you're familiar with the eat meal skill, here's the meal. All attack up after meal eat. And that's 43% with right here because I because I haven't really powered it up. So she's the one that gives you the attack buff. I think that's gonna be really strong for your team, clearing higher stages and getting higher stages done. Especially if you're a Sora user, you like Sora, she's your fancy, she was your plus if she was your plus one, you know, I fancy limed and poo early on. But if Sora was your plus one, she'd be a, a really important. If you like using Choco BB and you don't want to take him out, Sora would definitely be a, be, a, be an important one to go. She can even be solid as your number two pick. Now, I'm not familiar with all the skills that everyone has, but from what I've been looking over, they are some of the best ones. Even my girl Pooh here. Pooh has an amazing skill. It's her zombie attack skill, which is really expensive to level up into. I suppose the zombies can get really strong and dish out uh, a boatload of damage because she's probably one of uh, the better tanks in the, in the game. She like her ability to tank and her supportive ability is just insane. Like, look at all these support skills you get from her. But she gets that skill unlocked even more. So what it does is you just, you know, you pretty much uh, invest heavily into her soul, soul absorption so she can be able to <clears throat> get the skill up. So she'll probably be something like Choco where she'll do some soul absorbing. She'll come in, absorb some souls, and once it fills up, she'll just randomly clear out a wave. Randomly just come in and clear out a wave. And I think this is a good one to not even have first, maybe second. <clears throat> Maybe second, probably somewhere in that range. So even if she's not on your team and she's not being used in particular for those battles, she can come in and dish out the damage because she automatically wipes whatever floor that is. So I'm not quite sure what his was, but I think he had, oh no, gather power up, st uh, power up stone sometimes. So... There's a few characters that don't really have, <clears throat> like, a really special one because of their kid or whatever, whatnot. A few of them are like this, where the only thing they do is gather power-up stones. But once you get to where I'm at, and it's really hard to, like, level up your gear, having these power-up stones is good. Because, like, 17A might look like a lot for you, but when you got, when you got weapons... Do I got something? Where's a good example? I know she probably got one. No, no, here we go. When you got weapons that cost one A and I got only 17 A to just level up, some of the weapons maybe even be, maybe cost even more. Like some of the ones that I have might even be more like 2 A <clears throat> or above. Like that one's maxed out. You can only imagine how much that cost me to max that out. But they get really expensive and then you got a lot of different weapons that you got to level up. So you burn through your power up stones fast. So I wouldn't take these first. This wouldn't exactly be the ones that I would go to first on on that list. But definitely some uh, definitely characters like this is something that I would look for after I get the main ones that I will deem important, like Pooh, like Pooh, Sora, Oz, 
those characters there if you're looking for the speed boost then you got you got i mean poo i say eyes but no poo choco sora and then if you're looking for speed boost then you got eyes constant as a as a good example for those in particular but uh the characters i believe like arms and heart eater and i think warrior also has the power up stones that you wouldn't do first you wouldn't exactly do second but will be something that you would want on the list like oh snap uh like probably like uh after your main team is pretty much completed oh no he has hellfire so no he actually has one of his skills one of his skills that he uses i'm not sure which skill that is oh hellfire oh his magic damage skill so he'll come in and do that skill so th oh, that's that, that's cool that's cool <clears throat> but uh i know it's a few of them it's a few of them that do it and i'm not gonna go over every single character and what they're and what they are because i don't see everybody has in the most crucial skill to go through like let's go to swordsman real quick before we done here swordsman skill like gather power up stones see he wanted the ones to gather power up stones so that's something that you'll be looking towards later in line but like as a first pick i will hands down say sora choco and poop those are definitely my top picks for the first ones to go into because you don't need them in your party you just need them you just need to get those skills off so you can be able to benefit more for the characters that you are going to use more so and if you do use those characters it's still good because now you they're, they're stronger and all of that stuff anyway so this one not as long as usual which is probably a good thing but we're gonna cut it right here Hope you guys enjoy and probably learn something new about leveling up your characters and who to level up to 30 first. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. If you don't like it, there is a button for that as well. Make sure you join the Discord because we got good things going over there. We like to talk and hang out, mess around and play video games. Right, right, right. All right. Links to that will be in the description box below as well as the pinned comment below. Subscribe if you're new here. Turn those post notifications on so you can be the first to view content as it get uploaded. And this is your host, GamerDude2088. And I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.